Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is May. I guess it just turned to May 3rd of uh, 2024. It, it just rained midnight. Like, you know, I'm going to turn back into a pumpkin or something. But, uh, but yeah, let's do a quick, uh, a, a, a random RNG algo prompt that I haven't done yet. So let's get to it. Uh, and today we have design most recently used here. So I think, yeah, well. Least recently used? Most recently used? Hmm. Oh yeah, the the common, I, I got a little confused because I think the, the common one that people ask is least recently used. Most recently used? I guess we'll see. Uh, it's a medium problem. Oh, my Twitch is so much. Design a queue like data structure that moves the most recently used to the end of the queue. Okay. So yeah, we constructed the one, two, three, n, uh, n elements. Okay, fetch. We move the cave element to the end of the queue and return it. Okay. Um. Hmm. I mean, they're definitely. I mean, it's not that bad, but I, I don't know what they. Oh, they, you have to return. Oh, wait, no. What do we return? Okay, um, and then return it. What is return it? Oh, the dirt element, and then you return. Okay, I see. Hmm. How do I want to do it? There's so many ways to do it. Um. Okay, so apparently they want you to do oh, and But I mean, th there's still so many ways to do it that I'm trying to figure out which one. Um, just off my ha uh, thing, you can, you know, for example, if you really want, to, and I mean, the way that I would do it is with probably a sorted list is the uh, most, um, for me, natural. I don't know that I allocate it, but you could, for example, also use um, a try, a, a, suff a prefix try um, to kind of get that because then now you can do an, a binary search to get the cave element, right? Not gonna uh, uh, go into that much detail. If that's if that's the way you want to do it, that's a hint. Um, you also do the same idea with segment tree, but but again, not gonna go into that. That's too heavy machinery. Um, I, I I'm thinking of using sorted list. I'm just trying to think about whether I can do with anything more um, basic, if you will, like something with you know. Let me think about it for a second. Mm. I and mean, I guess this is also a, a, a thing for um, maybe skip lists, but I guess maybe it can actually, I mean, I want to say skip lists, but maybe dynamically it's a little bit tricky to get right implementation wise, right? Um, Eh, yeah, well. But yeah, uh, okay. So, so the idea here is really pretty simple. Uh, I'm just going to use sorted list. Uh, that, it's a little bit simple, but it's also like library. But I would also say that if you had a balanced binary tree, if you have a library for that, or if you're using another language with order statistics, C++ has this. I don't know what the equivalent is in Java, so I don't know. But sorted list does allow me to do this right so let me just use it um, and the idea here is just being able to access the cave element in log n which they do for you and then just move it to the end which also they could do for you so this is going to be n log n right so here we have uh, what, this one might I think I was just talking about Java that's why I got confused right and then here <clears throat> Maybe I would for i in range of n. I guess it, it's uh, it's one indexed. I also like big n's, so I don't know. That's just me. So we can add um two things, right? I and then i, and then maybe we can do like a, a what's it called? Inclinator, increment, incrementer. I I want to say incrementer or discriminator. But and then I just messed up. 
But yeah, so then the next number is going to be <coughs> n plus 1. And that's pretty much the whole idea is that here um, we can just do self.sl of k, right? So then now element is equal to this, right? And then now we can do self.sl of k dot remove element, I want to say. And then just self.sl of k dot add um, a new tuple. But now you have self.incrementer and then element the second element, right? Because the second element is going to be the one that is not sorted on, but it's just to contain the real element, if you will. And the incrementer is just the next biggest number so that um, we just kind of keep it sorted using this first thing. You can also think of it as a unique ID, I suppose, that is incrementing. incrementing. Um, and then now we can just return element of one. And maybe we could just whatever, but uh, put in a variable name, but either way. Uh, yeah. We move, is it, what's it called? Hmm. Is it this card maybe? Huh. Delete? Oh. Oh, this is the, oh, whoops. Okay. Uh, it, you have, we have to do it on the object, not the uh, tuple. So, yeah. Uh, I did the same mistake here. I don't know what I'm typing, you know? Like, who knows how it work? Who knows how computers work, right? Is there, oh, K is, K is one index, so we have to, uh, yeah, uh, okay, fine. Right, I'm glad that that was part of the example. I mean, I guess I would have gotten it wrong anyway, so, um, but I'm still glad that it was, it was an example. So let's give it some mint. And yeah, I mean, this is gonna be n log n, right? I mean, this takes n log n to set up, and each, each fetch is going to be log n time, log n for remove, log n for add, and that's it. Um, I don't have much to add. Like I said, um, most, uh, actually, I don't know if that's true, but a lot of languages do have libraries that are similar to this. But if you have to, like, in, I think this was a conversation the other day in my either Discord or comments. Um, <clears throat> if you have to during a thing, I don't know what you would do. Um, I mean, maybe you could just describe. I think what uh, it's kind of tough because on on an OA like an online assessment, you just have to do what you can do, and I don't know, maybe you just screwed a little bit. Uh, unlucky is unlucky. Uh, if you're doing a live person, and I don't know nowadays how the live well depend. I guess I do know. It just depends on a company or interviewer. Uh, if you have to run the code or not, um, and sometimes you are able to kind of just because at least back in my day, uh, what is what I mean is that when I need to do it on the whiteboard, for example, um, you can just assume that there are certain things like a, 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 bi a balanced binary search tree type thing, right? And this will allow you to kind of do it, but uh, I don't know. Just hope you're a little bit luckier, I think, in life, as always, better lucky than good. But that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy to go mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.